Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. For this week's reading, I'm going to be using the Morgan Greer Tarot. And I have a little bit of a different backdrop today. Um, I just decorated my tree last night. <laughs> and uh, there's my cat <laughs> looking out the window. I just decorated my tree last night and I thought it would be kind of a festive backdrop for the reading. Okay, so I'm going to draw three cards. Each card is going to represent a portion of the upcoming week, and my intention with this reading is just to get a snapshot of some of the themes and opportunities uh, and challenges that may present themselves over the next seven days. Okay, so remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video, and check out my site, dailytarotworld.com for more info on tarot card reading. So this first card represents Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. And here we have the, I bought the Spanish version of this deck. <laughs> um, so this is the, I believe this is the page of pentacles. So we're starting off the week with a page. Now I always associate the pages with learning and learning something new. And because this is from the suit of pentacles, pentacles are about the physical aspect of day-to-day -day life. They're about health, um, you know, wellness, the kind of food we put into our body, the way we move our bodies. And the whole suit has a very grounded, kind of down-to-earth quality to it. Um, so at the beginning of the week, this is a good time to learn new ways of connecting with your body new ways of exercise, um, new ways of eating, things like that. So really let yourself explore these areas if this is something that calls to you. So maybe even seeing, seeing yourself experimenting with different ways of eating and preparing food, different ways of connecting to your body and relating to your body. Um, and definitely it feels like the more you're able to really ground your energy and get that sense of rootedness and feeling really solid and connected to your body and to the earth around you, the better off you're going to be able to navigate this week. So that feels really important. So starting off the week, you can even start off this week doing some kind of grounding ritual and really paying attention to the things that help you feel really grounded and, and, and supported and solid in your life. So. Um, for some of us, this might be like eating certain foods or just eating really well or, you know, moving our bodies every day. It might be about meditation, getting outside more. Everyone's a little bit different. Okay, so let's move on to the middle of the week. So for Wednesday and Thursday, um, we have the King of Pentacles. So <laughs> another court card from the suit of Pentacles. So this kind of continues on with that theme of, you know, focusing on being grounded, focusing on, you know, being stable within yourself, within your life. So the King of Pentacles is certainly more confident and powerful than the page. So the middle of the week is really a time to step into your power. And for some reason, the word boundaries is coming up for me. So this is about feeling confident about maintaining your boundaries, especially when it comes to family, maybe when it comes to friends or work commitments. Um, but really, you know, being able to stand your ground this week and stand up for yourself and if you feel like someone is kind of infringing on your space or your time or your energy, being able to kind of hold your hand up and and politely but firmly, um, you know, defend your <laughs> defend your boundaries and really kind of stand up for yourself. Don't back down this week. Um, I also feel like where money and finances are concerned, um, the King of Pentacles is very good at saving money and managing money. So that may be something for you to really tap into this week, getting um, organized money-wise and you know, getting your bills and things like that all organized and, and just getting things kind of set up in that regard. 
that's always a good thing to do before the holidays too, I think, just so you don't overspend. Um, I feel like there's something else I want to say about this guy, but let's move on to the third card. So this last card is for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And here we have the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is really, in my opinion, sometimes it can be a card of indulgence, kind of indulging, being proud of yourself, patting yourself on the back. Um, kind of similar in some regards to the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, I see him as being the kind of character who really likes to indulge. You know, he enjoys good food, good wine, good sex. Uh, he enjoys relaxation and downtime. And I feel like this Nine of Cups is also about that, but maybe the Nine of Cups can sometimes push into uh, overindulgence a little bit. You know, there's indulgence and then there's overindulgence. And I think this kind of goes nicely for the time of year because I know myself when I go to Christmas parties and stuff, I just kind of go full throttle at the at the cheese table and, and you know, with desserts and chocolates and stuff like that. I have a hard time... Uh, restraining myself. <laughs> so I think this week there's a few themes going on. Number one, it's important to connect to your body this week and really ground your energy so that you're not all scattered and all over the place. This is going to help you with relationships, with communication, and protecting your own time and energy, which is so important, particularly at this time of year, I think. And I think the other theme too is knowing the difference between indulgence and overindulgence. And indulging in good things is always wonderful. But when we overindulge, it can take something that is a pleasurable experience and turn it into something that's actually painful and really unhealthy. So kind of knowing the line <laughs> and trying your best not to cross it this week, knowing what that line is for you. So don't be afraid to indulge in all the, you know, uh, rich food that is sometimes out, out um, this time of year, but not overindulging. Um, okay, I'm just going to zoom out here and look at all three cards, see if there's anything else that's standing out to me. On some levels, I feel like this week is about honoring yourself and your relationship to yourself, um, especially as it relates to, you know, the grounding, your energy and connecting with your body. And I feel like the more you're able to connect with yourself, honor yourself, respect yourself, the easier it's going to be for you to communicate um, compassionately with others in your life, especially when it comes to difficult situations. And it's going to be easier for you to not cross that line into overindulgence. When you really, when you're connected to your body and you're honoring yourself, you're not going to overeat because you're going to, you're going to know, you're going to know when that happens and it's not going to feel good. Um, so, you know, and I'm not just talking about food, I guess when I say overindulgence, there's so many other things you can overindulge in as well. Um, lately I've been overindulging in just like sitting on the couch, reading Reddit threads and stuff like that. And today after this video, I'm like, it's time for me to do a workout. I need to exercise and move my body and not be so sedentary like I have been all day today. It's hard though when it's cloudy and rainy outside. Okay, so yes, yeah, so that's the theme this week. It's grounding, honoring yourself, you know, listening to your body. So if you have any thoughts on these cards, if you have any ideas here, or you want to chime in, please feel free. I always love hearing, you know, how everyone else sees these cards. So feel free to do that in the comment section. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, I love doing these videos every week and I love that you watch them. So thank you so much for, for watching. And like I said at the beginning of the video, um, I do these every week so you can subscribe to my channel if you want to get these every week and check out my website dailytarotgirl.com. I'll put the link to my site in the description box below the video. There's lots of fun tarot learning resources on there. I've got um, free tarot spreads, a list of tarot card meanings, all kinds of video tutorials, blog posts, lots of fun stuff. So be sure to check it out. So thanks again for watching and have a great week.